Our game takes place about um, 60 years after the fall of Constantinople, so when the Byzantine Empire ended and the Ottoman Empire uh, didn't begin but sort of overtook the old uh, Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire had lasted for a thousand years, but its last 200 years was uh, dwindling and uh, the population of the city had fallen to about 40,000 people. So um, I remember reading lots of historical uh, articles about how it was just a decrepit place and when the Ottomans came in they set about revamping the place and uh, building it up so the population went from uh, 40,000 to about 400,000 in just a hundred years so we're assuming about around a population of about 300,000 people. The fall of Constantinople was a big, was a big deal. It was in a 60 years before our story starts. The repercussions of that are, is what our game is dealing with. We have these Byzantine holdouts kind of in our game where the last gasp of the old empire is sort of trying to hold on. When a city changes hands, it's, it's never clear cut, you know, it would never be like we come in and you get out. So we want to we wanna recreate that feeling of uh, instability where a, a new people have come in but the old people are still there and, and, and the Ottomans are doing a great job being shepherds of the city but, but there are still people who are definitely uh, miffed about, about the transition. So the fall of Constantinople is a, it figures largely into, a, into our game and that and east and west colliding and, uh, and that's kind of represented in, you know, with Ezio and Altair being from east and west. Constantinople is a juncture where all that kind of comes to bear. And the uh, Sultan at the time, uh, Sultan, is a guy named Bayezid II. Bayezid is at the last legs of his, his rule and he's got a number of sons who want to uh, sort of step into his shoes. In actual history we have uh, a couple brothers. Uh, we have Ahmed um, and, the, uh, and then his younger brother Selim. Those are the two uh, brothers who'd be plausibly in line for the, the Sultanate. And historically um, uh, Bayezid liked Ahmed better, so, uh, which to the consternation of Selim. And then we also have uh, a young Suleiman, who's Selim's son, and he's, uh, he will go on to become uh, one, of the, in, the, one of the greatest uh, Ottoman sultans. I think his reign lasts something like 50 years. But in our game, he's a 17-year-old kid, sort of a young man. He's already the governor of a, of a small province in the north. Um, he got an early start. When you try to research this period, this period gets kind of passed over a little bit in a lot of history books because everyone wants to get to Suleiman the Magnificent. There's a lot written about him, but there wasn't very much written about him um, up until he was about 17. So nothing of his early life is very is well known. So we had to kind of invent the, from the little details we know. We got to create him sort of from scratch. But 1511, 1512 is a, is a pretty pivotal point in in this, as I said, it's Bayezid's last year. I won't go into too much of how that transition happens, but um, that's just a really uh, pivotal moment for the, the royal family. 